Gather brown, gather brown, cause I got a story to tell. Remember when you lost your virginity? All right, motherfucker, let's get it on. Well, hopefully it wasn't like that. Well, I remember how I lost mine. April 9th of 2011 in Virginia. It was a great day for me. So the reason I'm in Virginia is because in high school, I got asked to go to this college tour to see Hampton University with a bunch of other people, of course. So the day before the tour, I said to myself, you know what? Fuck that. This is the trip where you become a goddamn man. <clears throat> it's gonna be bitches there. It's gonna be you. It's gonna be bitches there. Fuck it. You will not come back to Jersey a goddamn virgin. You going to Virginia to get some vagina, period. I'm here for the ass. Fuck the college. So I pull up to the school to meet up with everybody. And when I get inside, it's about five niggas, about four bitches. So the ratio wasn't too bad. So we get to Virginia, we get our room keys, and we go out to eat. That's pretty much the first day. We didn't do much. Second day rolls around, it's time for the college tour. So the plan was simple. Go out there and bag some college bitches. But here's the problem. I didn't know how to spit game. I didn't know how to bag bitches. I had no game. No goddamn game. I still don't have game to this day. I don't know why bitches give me ass. Moving on, so we get to Hampton University, right? And it ain't nothing but beautiful black women everywhere. With the fattest asses I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I'm talking ass galore everywhere. They're playing Baltimore Club party music. Now that's my goddamn thing. Guess what my little ass is doing? Just standing there, not talking to a goddamn soul. You know why? Because I was scared. Like a deer blinded by headlights. I was just standing there, frightened. So the operation to get some college pussy was a failure. Fast forward later on in that day. For some reason, one of the girls that was part of the trip decides to give me her number. Oh shit. I had no idea why she gave me her number. And I didn't even know what to do next. And this is where our story begins. Fast forward to the last night of the trip. I'm in my room by myself. All the dudes is in one room watching the basketball game. And all the bitches in a different room. Doing whatever the fuck bitches do. I get a text from the girl that gave me her number. She just starts spilling the beans. Telling me why she gave me her number. Because the first day we went out to eat, she liked me out of nowhere. Thought I was cute. Now that confused me. Because all I did was sit at the table quiet. I, I guess she liked the way a nigga eat his chicken parm. She's in a whole nother room by herself, and eventually she tells me to come over, cause she wanna fuck. Dick hard as a motherfucker. I'm talking dick so hard, if you hold it, you can feel my heartbeat. So you know what I did? To save some time, cause I'm all about time management, I put the condom on before I went to her room. So after about seven minutes of struggling, I finally get the condom on. And I'm walking to her room. Now dig how naive I was. I brought one condom, cause I thought that's all I was gonna need. Boy was I in full surprise. So I'm walking to her room, and when I get there, motherfucker interrupted my goddamn story. So I get to her room, I look to my right, and I see another nigga from the trip already there. Now I got the soft sad dick, cause someone already there. Luckily me and Bull cool, so I said fuck it. We all in there sitting on a boot time chilling. My plan was, I'ma sit there and wait till the bull leave. Little did I know, Bull was already plotting on the same piece of ass that I was about to get. So she gets up to go to the bathroom and all the laughs stop. Me and Bull look at each other like, So after like two minutes of going back and forth, he eventually comes out the bathroom and me and the bull stop arguing. So since we can't argue out loud now, we take it to the iPod notepad. You know how back in the day you run a message just back and forth. So we send him one message back and forth, back and forth, passing around, and I don't know how she didn't notice. So I type on the iPod, yo bro, you gotta leave. He texts back, nah bro, you gotta leave. I text back, bro, I'm for real, bro, you, like, like dip. He texts back, I've been trying to get this ass this whole week. I'm not leaving, bro, you gotta go. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I ain't about to sit here and argue with you over no piece of ass. It ain't even that deep. You can have it, fuck it. So I get up, I'm like, all right, mom, I'm going back to my room. I leave. I'm sad as hell. That was the most disappointing walk ever back to my room. So now I'm back in my room. I take the condom off, sad as hell. Flush it down the toilet. I could have just threw it in the trash, but I didn't want to leave behind no evidence. Now I'm playing Call of Duty by myself. 10 minutes roll by. I get a text from her saying, why you leave? I texted back like I thought you was chilling with the boy. I ain't wanna ruin your quality time. Trying to sound all modest and shit. She like, no, I made him leave. Come back. Nigga. Hell yeah, she chose a real nigga. Hell yeah, she chose me, dawg. What? I'm finna go back in that room and bust their ass down. But wait, I threw my only condom away. And in that moment, I could only think of one thing. 
fuck it. She know I'm going to wrong, and she was down with it. So I get back to her room, and guess what? A goddamn roommate came back and went to sleep on the bed. If it ain't one thing, it's always another. Got more problems than a little bit. It's always something. What, what the hell? The universe is trying to keep me from getting some ass. But they ain't stop us. We sat right on that goddamn food time. So now we talking for a little bit. And I got tired of talking. I ain't wasting no more time. Started off with the kitchen for like 15 minutes. Now keep in mind, I got no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Now I have no idea how to fuck. But I kind of got the concept of it. Fuck it for half an hour, and then you come on the back. At least that's what porn taught me. I'm laying on my side, that sideway fuck where you try not to wake nobody up. So I slide her drawers off, I slide my pants down. I ain't take my drawers off. I had on boxes, so you know back in the day that was acceptable to just put your dick through that little hole. So now it's time for penetration. But there's one detail I didn't tell you guys. She was a little big girl. Not too big, but she wasn't skinny. She was a little bit past thick. So now I got her on her side, and I gotta lift her ass cheek up to slide it in something. It was dark. I don't know what my dig went in. She lets out an ouch. So I'm assuming I'm in the right place. Cause I heard sometimes sex hurts. Now I'm slow stroking up. Good God. The great googly. Boogly. Out of nowhere, her roommate started to rustle in the bed and it sounded like she was waking up. So I slid out with the quickness. <laughs> Lightning quick. She sat there for a little bit, her roommate Went right back to sleep. Now the first time I went in, I had a little trouble. I ain't gonna lie, I had some trouble getting in the first time. So the second time, I'm still fiddling around trying to get back into the promised land. I get in there finally, she lets out another out. So I thought I was back in the right place. I resume giving out this dope dick. I felt myself coming. So in the middle of me coming, she says, Uh, don't come in me. Uh, yeah. It's a little late for that. Wish you would have said something earlier. And that's it. That's how the story ends. Go back to my room, hit my happy dance, and congratulate myself. Pat on the back. So till this day, I have no idea what I busted nut in. I could have came in her ass, I could have came in the vagina. I don't know what hole my dick was in the whole time. What's even funnier is, every other year I find myself checking her page just to make sure she's not posting pictures with her and, and any children that might look like me, even a little bit. So far, six years later, kid free. So you know what that means? It means I probably came in her ass. Yep. <laughs>